Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been a month since my last confession. Mrs. Stevens, is that you? Father, what will happen to my soul after I die? Mrs. Stevens, our Lord teaches us in sacred scripture that every soul will be judged. At the end of our days, our actions, our words, and our thoughts will be referred to the life of Christ. And for those who have chosen to live in Christ, to listen to his words, and to follow him, they'll have a life of eternity in heaven. But for those who have chosen to reject his love, to follow a way of selfishness, theirs will be a life without God for all eternity, a life without joy or hope. Mrs. Stevens, don't be afraid. It's happening again. Those who say live in the present, they have never been more wrong. The past can heal. It heals me. It's not gone, just stuck in your memories. It gives us serenity, calmness, retribution. Roast beef, rice, and gravy, it's the simple ingredients that make it so powerful. Better be roast this time, Ma. It is. Some taste here. It's just a few new spices. This dish has been a tradition in my family since I was a little girl. There was nothing like coming home from a long day of school and smelling the entire house filled with gravy and beef. For 15 years now, I've been cooking it for him almost every day. Hey guys, you're listening to the Death Metal Station 98.3 KMDT. So I found this new band online and I Make double our income right now. That's great. Is that all you have to say? You're drug dealing. It's not exactly legal. This is a business. Well, then why don't you get a job that won't take us to jail? I am providing. Ma's about to go bankrupt. That's why I'm here. Shut your mouth. Where did you get that? You gave her your phone? She, she just wanted a call to ask about the new electric cooker. <laughs> Ma, you know you're not supposed to use phone. Miller, Miller, stop. It was my fault, okay? You're right, Scott. You should be doing this. Fuck over here. Miller, just, just stop. Ma, I'm 
sorry. It's all right now. He's not gonna hurt you anymore. I'm gonna figure this out, okay? Miller, do we really need to keep her locked up? Bond's a liability. Threatening and keeping her locked up is the only way to control her. I told you this guy. But Miller, we don't have to do this to No, we do this my way. It's worked out this far, hasn't it? I'm making a name for myself out here. Well, what's your name now? John. Don't call me John. It's, it's Miller. Shut up. Miller! I said shut up! Since when do you carry around a rosary? For faith. You're not gonna find any faith in that piece of jewelry. As a matter of fact, I'm getting tired of taking you every month to see that priest of yours. Maybe I should have a chat with him one of these days. He's been wanting to meet with you. Scott, take the businessman's goods. Don't forget to let the flavor sink in. I know what you're thinking. How? I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Almost 16 years. I'm finally free. You're dead to me. My sweet son, Skylar. For nearly three weeks now, the cold case investigation into alleged drug lord John Miller-Stevens, a.k.a. Unanimous, reopens. 
More evidence has continued to surface as police continue to probe into the case, but it appears that a key piece of evidence can only be answered by a lone eyewitness, Mrs. Marie Stevens, mother of John Miller. She has remained comatose and in critical condition since the crimes occurred. Alongside John Miller's death, his brother Skyler, age 19, was found in the driveway, shot in the head. No suspects have been found yet.